Okay, Google, play New York playlist. Sure, here's a Spotify playlist called New York is Not Dead. Put yourself into my skin for a moment and give it back Cause my skeleton's showing I'm long gone Long gone Paramore Troubadour, I'll be the token, yeah There's the door, I guess I'm leaving it open I'm long gone long and girls, mostly girls. I'm in New York, I'm back, I'm back in my favorite city in the world. I'm here for the next month-ish, maybe a little bit longer. And I'm all settled into my apartment. I love New York in the summer and I know that it's a thing to leave the city in the summer because it is very hot and it's kind of stinky and sometimes it can just be sweltering and the subway is brutal to take but the energy in New York in the summer is so fun. So as I've mentioned in past videos, I do this every summer. I come to New York for all of August and usually have just one of the best months of my life. There's so much going on here. I have so many great friends here and I'm so excited to bring you guys along for the ride this time. If you guys couldn't tell from my videos the last couple weeks, I was just kind of discombobulated, kind of a mess. I felt like moving was one of the more stressful things that I genuinely have ever gone through. But I did get my place in LA all settled. And then of course, as I get it settled, I'm like, okay, bye. Anyways, I'm here to work, I'm here to have fun. And this week I am dedicated to being a healthy ass the last couple weeks with moving and everything, I completely fell off my routines. I was not going to the gym. I wasn't meditating. I wasn't doing my morning pages. I am really determined to get back into it this week. So we're gonna be getting back into routine, having fun. I'm going to Hamptons this weekend. First things first, I'm gonna go grocery shopping this morning because I have not gone grocery shopping in literal months. I Uber eats every single meal, which I know is so bad. It's so bad, it's so bad. One, New York is dumb expensive if I'm buying all my meals out. And two, I would like to cook and be healthy. I'm channeling that Pinterest girl. I have my life together. I'm an adult. I just had my birthday, so now I'm like really feeling like an adult. So we're going on a grocery run. We're gonna be making healthy, healthy meals this week. Also, I'm subletting my friend's apartment. He does this pilgrimage to Europe every single year. So I run his apartment from him while he's away. And it is a Mojo Dojo Casa house and he does not have a full length mirror. So my fit checks are gonna be a little off this week, but we're gonna, we're gonna try. So not quite full length, but this is the best we're gonna get. This tank top is from Story. It's technically a workout tank top, but I like it for casual days. It's so soft. These pants are from Anandola. They're super, super comfy. The headband is also Anandola, and then I'm just wearing my Lispec sunglasses. <laughs> Yeah. I promise I'm going grocery shopping after this. Okay, apparently inflation went up since last time I grocery shopped because, oh my god, it's so expensive. Honestly, part of the reason that I don't really feel bad eating out or ordering Uber Eats all the time is because it's really not that much cheaper than groceries is now. <laughs> Anyways, I'll do a little haul for you guys. Here is everything that I got. So these are my favorite snacks. These are turkey beef sticks, obsessed with them. Kind bars, I like to have these for like breakfast on the go. And then these are my favorite little protein drinks and Olipops. I have not tried this flavor. This is my favorite flavor. I could have like three of these a day, I love them. Um, bone broth in the morning because tummy issues. And then I got stuff for zoodles and lettuce tuna wraps. I love canned tuna, sue me. And then I got these for breakfast. So I open one of these and then pour a little bit of that in there and top it with berries. That's one of my favorite breakfasts. And then I got this stuff for this kind of recreation of this salad, which I will show you guys later this week. There she is. <laughs> oh, Maddie, they As you guys know, I'm new to SoulCycle, 
and I love it. I actually really do. Like, I think I'm one of those Soul Cycle girlies now, but it's a little culty. And today I go in, so I book on Class Pass, so I can't like choose my seat. And I think this will only make sense to anyone who's been to a Soul Cycle class before, but I asked the girl at the front desk, I'm like, uh, just like put me wherever I don't care where my seat is so she puts me in like the far back corner little did I know because I've only been to two soul cycle classes that everybody goes in the middle so like literally there was like 30 people in the class that were all right in the center all next to each other and then me the outcast in like the back left of the corner and I felt so awkward but whatever it was a good workout i just got ready and this morning i am going to a meeting an interview for something that if i would have told my like 15 year old self that i'm doing this i would have my pants and i hate the fact that i can't talk about it yet because that's annoying but i can't but i'm really excited about it and i'm really excited to share it with you guys in the next couple weeks but anyways so i'm doing that i'm gonna go to soho and go shopping because when i was walking the other day i was walking through and there's a bunch of new stores there since i've last been there and like boutiques and stuff so i'm gonna go shopping i need more tank tops because i realized i did not pack enough tank tops for this trip and it's so hot here so i think i might go to aritzia and just get some like basic of the babaton ones because those are my favorite and then i'm gonna go meet my friend for drinks and then meet other friends for dinner i swear on my life i ironed this dress this morning it's just when i sit down it bunches up and it's linen so it gets a little wrinkly but it's still really cute it has these adorable little tie things at the top the bag is my green prada bag which i love and then i'm just wearing my basic converse and then i think i'm gonna do these sunnies from vela eyewear and i put my hair in this little ponytail braid i've never worn my hair like this before but i saw it on pinterest i thought it was so cute and since it's so hot and sticky out i just don't want my hair like touching my shoulders so i know i will be wearing updos all summer i feel like i'm gonna wear this one a lot let a DJ stay with me twice. And the second time, he a girl the day of coming to my apartment. <laughs> and I still let him stay for a weekend, for three American days. I thought he was hot, but then I thought, <laughs> but was I thought his hairline, his hairline, his hairline was so scary. His name was, was Eddie. He was a skinny, ghostly, anorexic man. So of course I was like, you know, like, I was very excited. He had nothing to offer. Yeah. Stop me, you see me, you know I slide on the beat. God is my dinner, and I fuck it over, let me eat. It ain't no surprise, baby, no, she feeling me. Make them wanna dance, even with them two left. Kate and I just went to a workout class and got smoothies. She chugged hers already. We're just going on a little hack and walk. Oh, it's so loud. New York. It's like so gloomy out today anyways i just showered and i'm gonna make a recreation of my favorite salad which is the guacamole greens from sweet green if i do make salads at home it's usually this one and i just get rotisserie chicken for it there is a riot happening right now in union square that they just released news about like 10 minutes ago that it's happening my friend lives right next to it and she just texted me that it's like a war zone there and it was caused by youtube there is a youtuber who announced that he was going to give away free PlayStation 5s and I guess it's turned into like this insane violent riot. So this afternoon I was planning to go up to Soho because I forgot one of my shopping bags at the Crosby Street Hotel because I'm a dumbass. But now I don't think I should go up to that area. <laughs> really quick do my makeup because tonight i'm going out in chinatown with my girlfriends from college it's the same group of girls who were on the miami girls trip with me so jenna cat and gabby and i haven't seen them but gabby's about to leave 
on a world tour because she performs on cruise ships. So I wanted to do a really quick makeup routine because one, I don't like wearing a lot of makeup because it's sticky out. Um, and I've been trying a lot of new products. This is the Hourglass Skin Tin, which you guys have probably seen going viral on TikTok and honestly for good reason. I'm so picky with my skin products, which is why I've been using the Dior Backstage Foundation pretty much exclusively for like two and a half, three years. But this stuff is honestly so good. Like, oh, I have to blend it out. It looks so skin-like. I don't know. I feel like it looks so good. So this is my new favorite. I got this in the shade seven. And then I'm also using an hourglass foundation brush. I think hourglass has the best makeup brushes. I've like very slowly started transitioning all of my brushes to hourglass. Their concealer brush is amazing. And I've pretty much stopped using beauty blenders because I feel like I was just buying them so much because they would get so dirty and it felt like my face was always dirty from them. So I pretty much stopped using beauty blenders and switched all to brushes now this is the makeup forever hd skin under eye concealer i think this is also a new product but i've been enjoying it this is the hourglass concealer brush i was talking about it's so good and the usual charlotte tilbury contour wand i just put that on my cheeks a little bit up here a little bit down here but anyways we're going out in chinatown to this little speak easy there one of my favorite places to go out in new york is chinatown and k-town something about me is that i love drunk karaoke there's like nothing in the world that i love more than drunk karaoke and k-town here has some really fun karaoke spot this is the makeup by mario brow pencil i just got my eyebrows threaded so i feel like they look a little crazy right now and then on top of that i do the refi brow gel apparently i'm really into hourglass right now this is a scattered <gasps> no i'm just putting on like a little bit of glitter eyeshadow i feel like it makes me look like a little bit more awake i don't pack it on but just a little dusting then i'm gonna put a tiny teeny tiny bit of glitter in my inner corner thrive mascara as usual tiny bit of blush this is the summer fridays i'm like slowly becoming a blush girl now definitely looks better in the summer summer when i'm a little bit more tan charlotte tilbury lip liner in pillow top this is actually a pixie lip balm that i just discovered but i really like the color of it i actually wear this to like workout classes and the gym a lot technically it's like a chapstick but i really like the shade of it then i've got the flawless setting spray from charlotte tilbury okay there is my five minute makeup routine Do not pay the That's like when you're like in a picture and your toes look like this. <laughs> no. Are you a Ken? Am I a Ken? No, actually, I'm a Gregory. Oh, Ken. <laughs> is it my destiny to live? Or die? Are you a Ken? I'm Kenaf. You're Kenaf? <laughs> earlier like i'm going to the hamptons 
but I'm not Purple going to Surf Lodge sunshine. because that's it's not for me. <laughs> We're going. <laughs> no, I said no. Wait, I think I'm having an allergic reaction. You're kind of red. Where's the sun? No, I think, wait, no, dude, I'm allergic to certain kinds of alcohol. Casamigos? Apparently. <laughs> <gasps> oh no, no I am, I actually am. <laughs> have you never had Casamigos before? No, I have. It, I think it has to be like the mix of the lime or something that they were. Okay, this used to happen to me a lot in college. I thought I felt my face becoming really hot. Yeah, you are kind of red. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm scared. Fun fact about me, I'm allergic to certain kinds of alcohol and like alcohol mixers, so I have to be really careful about what I drink. And I haven't had a reaction in like a year, but it looks and like she's I'm- gluten intolerant herself. Yes, that <laughs> is true. I'm also gluten intolerant and I'm allergic to chicken, but I still- You have to bleep me out. I don't, <laughs> I don't have any self-control. Like, I can like feel it in my face. Do you feel hot? Yeah. It feels like really hot and uncomfortable. Yeah. Stop back and tell me you see me, you know I slide on the beat. God is my dinner, and I fuck it over, let me eat. It ain't no surprise, baby, no, she feeling me. Make them wanna dance, even with them two left feet. Break it down. Now break it down. Now break it down. Now break it down. Got smoothies and we are walking around Sag, Sag Harbor. Harbor, like mm -hmm. the downtown, and it's so cute and it's absolutely Love packed stores. with people. But it's just like the cutest little summer town. Oh, so clean. Coast town. <laughs> so freaking cute. And we're so hungover. Go all the time, and then like, why would you go out of your way to pay a sample of amount? That's like a mini ice cream. Mm -hmm. I had a green juice, it tasted like grass, but after we put in our bodies last night, I felt like I needed some nutrients. Yeah, last night was interesting. But so we said we were gonna stay home and watch a movie and get ice cream and be wholesome and go to Soul Cycle this morning. And my friend even no, called no, it out. He was like, I'm gonna film you now saying this, and then in five minutes. Literally, five we have minutes. One later. glass of wine, we're like, we're going, we're going to, to surf lodge. <laughs> So fun. listen, I understand why people like don't like Surf Lodge. Like I get it. Yeah, it's like the it's finance a, bro. Yeah, like Rose. Daddy owns a hedge fund. Daddy, d Daddy definitely owned a lot of hedge funds. Mm -hmm. I had to go at least once. Would I go back? Come on. Probably yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, like a hundred percent. I feel like too. If it was a DJ, I really liked because they get big people. Yeah. Fisher's gonna be there. Like. A lot of big you guys. That'd be fun. They should have Diplo. <laughs> He's de Diplo has definitely been there before. Mm -hmm. I feel like Surf Lodge definitely needed another blonde influencer. I feel like it was definitely like lacking in those. So I'm really, really glad that I could right? No. Guys, we're gonna go on a boat right now and take it to. What's it's it called? called Sunset Beach. It's on Sunset Shelter Beach. Island, and you can only get there by boat. By boat yeah. And they have a couple hotels and a couple restaurants. It's very like European vibes. Do you know where I turn? You see me working, I hit myself a little sneeze. Let me put it in motion, the baby get up, I just see move around. Hey, now move around. Now I gotta deliver Flow like a river Bet you can 